After eight seasons, two SEC West titles, a conference championship, and a trip to the national championship game, Auburn finally decided to make the decision to fire head coach Gus Malzahn. The firing comes after Auburn's final game of the year, where they finished their season at 6-4. and four. For many, this is a move that seems like it was a long time coming, but it definitely is a little shocking to see Auburn pull the trigger after a crazy season like this. Also, it's pretty shocking to see considering his buyout is for more than $21 million. Defensive coordinator Kevin Steele will serve as the interim coach as Auburn will begin their quest to find a new head coach that can hopefully steer the Tigers in the right direction. Before we get to today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you love college football, this is definitely the place for you. Auburn's athletics director, Alan Green, released this statement on Sunday. After evaluating the state of the Auburn football program, we've decided that it was time to make a change in leadership. We appreciate everything that Gus did for the program over the last eight seasons. We will begin a search immediately for a coach that can help the Auburn program consistently compete at the highest level. Just last night, this video was posted on the official Auburn football page. Talk about cold takes exposed. Malzahn just wrapped up his third year of his seven-year $49 million contract that he signed following the 2017 season. As I mentioned earlier, it was shocking to see Auburn go this route, especially with all the financial problems going on in the college football world right now. I guess that they thought that paying the $21 million price to move on was well worth it. Malzahn was named the offensive coordinator at Auburn all the way back in 2008. The Tigers immediately improved on the offensive side of the ball under Malzahn. Auburn finished the season ranked 16th in total offense and 17th in scoring after being tied for 110th of the nation in scoring the previous season. During his first year, he broke the Auburn single season total offense record that was previously set by the undefeated 2004 team. The rushing offense finished the season ranked 13th in the nation after being ranked 69th prior to the new coaching staff's arrival. Passing numbers also improved under the new offensive scheme, with the passing efficiency ranking ending up 22nd nationally after being ranked 106th in 2008. Auburn's offense under Malzahn produced 120 plays of 15 yards or more, nearly doubling the 62 they compiled in 2008. In 2010, Malzahn's offense, led by Heisman Trophy winner Cam Newton at quarterback, helped Auburn achieve an undefeated record, a number one national ranking after the regular season, and a berth in the BCS National Championship game that was played against the Oregon Ducks. Auburn led the SEC in scoring offense, total offense, rushing offense, pass efficiency, first downs, and third down conversions on its way to a 13-0 record and an SEC championship victory over South Carolina. Malzahn was awarded the 2010 Broyles Award, recognizing him as the top assistant coach in the nation. As I mentioned, Auburn went on to defeat the Oregon Ducks in the national championship game. In 2011, ESPN selected Malzahn as one of the best recruiters in the SEC. After a very successful year with Auburn, he left to become the head coach at Arkansas State. He led the Red Wolves to a 9-3 record, including a conference championship during the season. On December 4th of 2012, Malzahn was announced as the new Auburn head football coach. The year prior, Auburn went 3-9 and, and were one of the worst teams in all of the Power Five. They were at the bottom of the SEC, and things were looking dark after just winning the national championship a few years prior. Well, Malzahn had one of the greatest first years we've ever seen from a head coach at their new school. Auburn went 12-2 and, and had the greatest single-season turnaround in SEC history. Auburn would go on to win the 2013 SEC championship game later that year against the Missouri Tigers. On December 8th of 2013, it was announced that Auburn would play Florida State in the 2014 BCS Championship game. Auburn ended up losing in the National Championship by three points, but it was still a remarkable turnaround from the program and where they were the previous year. Malzahn won the prestigious 2013 Eddie Robinson Coach of the Year Award, along with the Sporting News College Football Coach of the Year and the Home Depot Coach of the Year Award as well. In addition, he also was named the SEC Coach of the Year. On December 10th of 2013, fans voted him as the recipient of the inaugural Premier Coach of College Football Award. On December 23rd of 2013, it was announced that Malzahn had won the Associated Press National Coach of the Year. He became only the second coach to win the award in his first season with the new team. In January 2014, after the National Championship, Malzahn added the Paul Bear Bryan Award and the Bobby Bowden Coach of the Year Award to bring the total number of National Coach of the Year awards to six in only his first season as the head coach. After that great season with Auburn, things began to slow down for him as he went 23-16 and over his next three seasons. They only had one bowl win during that stretch as it came in the Birmingham Bowl. Things looked to be picking up back again in 2017 as Malzahn led the
led the Tigers to a 10-2 record and earned a spot in the SEC Championship game after defeating number 2 Georgia and number 1 Alabama over the span of 3 weeks. In the rematch with Georgia, in a rematch with Georgia, Auburn lost the 2017 SEC title game by three touchdowns. They went on to play UCF in the Peach Bowl, where they ended up losing by a touchdown. Though they still finished the season 10 and 4, ending the year on a two-game losing streak wasn't ideal. But it was enough for Auburn as they immediately signed him to a seven-year, $49 million contract extension following the end of the season. Over his next three years, Malzahn went 23 and 13. Again, by no means awful or anything, but he failed to live up to expectations every year and wasn't able to get Auburn back to the SEC title game. He is one of only three coaches in program history to never suffer a losing season and the first to do so in over 100 years. He finishes his tenure with Auburn as the fifth winningest coach in program history with an overall record of 68 and 35. Malzahn simply didn't win at the rate fans and supporters grew to expect as Nick Saban built a dynasty across the state at Alabama. Malzahn and his staff recruited well enough, signing six top 10 classes and none ranks lower than 12th nationally, but the offense was never able to replicate the success it had during the 2013 and 2014 season as Malzahn spent five seasons shuffling through four different offensive coordinators. Most damaging for Auburn, Auburn had an 8-17 record against rivals Alabama, Georgia, and LSU, including going 0-12 on the road. No coach in program history has ever faced a tougher challenge against those teams. They have combined to win six SEC titles and three national championships, all since 2014. But those are the teams that fans and Auburn expects the Tigers to compete with, and under Malzahn, they haven't consistently done that enough. This season against top five Georgia, Alabama, and Texas A&M, Auburn got outscored 100-39 and went 0-3. The Tigers went 20-26 and under ranked teams and 8-19 and against top 10 teams under Gus Malzahn. After the most recent of those ranked losses on December 5th, he said that a six-win season would be solid, and that received a lot of criticism. He later clarified that he meant in a regular year where Auburn would have also played four non-conference games, but the decision made about his future proved that to be incorrect. So what exactly is next for Auburn, and where do they go from here? They're in a difficult spot as they play in arguably the toughest division in all of college football. Alabama isn't going anywhere, Texas A&M looks to be a problem for the years to come, and LSU is definitely going to be back. Oh, and not to mention all the other really good teams in the SEC. Auburn wouldn't pay a $21 million price tag unless they 100% knew that they were going to be finding an upgrade somewhere out there. The only question is, who's it going to be? There are definitely some interesting coaching names on the market, and I'm sure Auburn's going to be doing their homework. But again, spending $21 million to move on? That's a hefty price tag. In regards to Gus Malzahn, where exactly do you think he's going to end up? Considering he just got a nice $21 million payday, I don't think he's going to be hurting for cash anytime soon. However, there are definitely some places I think he'd make a good fit. Drop a comment down below sharing your thoughts on Auburn finally making this move. Do you think it was the right decision? Who should Auburn hire as their next head football coach? Drop a comment down below sharing your thoughts. Also, where do you think Gus Malzahn is going to end up next? Let me know your thoughts on that as well. If you haven't done so yet, please take a second and give this video a thumbs up as it really helps the video and the channel grow. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.